Within the Cadillac model lineup, the XT5 stands as the brand's bread and butter vehicle slotting up at the top for sales. In consideration of the foregoing, the XT5 competes in the class of mid-sized luxury crossovers and should definitely be put on your list if you're looking for a posh yet practical crossover. So let's go ahead and check out and take a closer look at this 2018 Cadillac XT5. Opposed to the German luxury auto brands that have a slew of crossovers available, the XT5 is the only crossover offering in Cadillac's model lineup. Nevertheless, the XT5 styling is sophisticated and elegant simultaneously, having a contemporary take on the art and science design language that certainly works. Similarly to the sales king of all luxury crossovers, the Lexus RX, What's also very intriguing is that the X-T5 fits in the sweet spot between a compact crossover and a three-row mid-size crossover, being just right in size for many consumers. As a short wheelbase model of General Motors C1XX platform, the vehicle is akin to the dimensions of the GMC Acadia, with its length measuring at 193.6 inches and width at 75.4 inches. Being a successor to the SRX and having its debut just last year, essentially not much has changed for 2018, but you will find a few new exterior colors and accessories for the vehicle and an automatic heated steering wheel is now available. Our XT5 we have here is a fairly basic model, it's the luxury that's a step up above the base model. And it comes well equipped, but you'll find a modern but not outlandish styling touches such as 18 inch machined alloy wheels as well as LED daytime running lights. Here is the key fob for the vehicle. You have your lock, unlock, your remote engine start, to release your trunk as well as your panic alarm. Our exterior color of the XT5 is known as the Red Passion Tint Coat. It comes equipped with smart key access on all four doors of the vehicle. We also do have the two-toned Sahara beige and jet black leather interior with perforated leather seats. Interestingly, also Cadillac deleted the thigh extension for the 2018 models that was available on the 2017s. We also do have a power adjustable driver's seat with power recline and power lumbar as well. All right. Taking a step on the inside of the X-T5, as you can see, very modern and contemporary looking layout. And it's fairly opulent inside of here, but really nothing that's going to blow your mind. But it's a fairly luxurious interior, and the X-T5 has pretty good ease of ingress and egress, and the step in height is fairly low which is one of the advantages of having a crossover, of course. We do have push bend ignition, just put your foot on the brake and hit the button to start. And what you're hearing there is General Motors' very familiar 3.6 liter V6. We also have a full leather wrapped steering wheel. Coming to your transmission, eight speed automatic here. Go down for drive like this, and if you want to put it into manual mode, you could shift the vehicle manually. And when you put the vehicle into reverse, this will display your rear view camera with guided signs as well as trajectory. And you can also go for a rear cross traffic alert if you would like, if you get the driver awareness package on the X-T5 here. And the seat will also vibrate to let you know if you're about to hit something if you do have rear parking sensors on the X-T5. Let's go ahead and turn on the headlights and the hazards. Let's go ahead and check out the exterior of the vehicle. Automatic driver's side window. Let's go ahead and pop up the hood and check out the engine. Heated exterior mirrors and you also do have blind spot detection. And we also do have the 18 inch machined aluminum wheels here. Coming up front on the X-T5, you'll find halogen projector beam headlights. LED headlights are also optional. And LED daytime running lights. And we do have front parking sensors as well. You can also go for a front facing camera when you get the surround vision system. Powering the X-T5 is your only engine available, but it's a pretty potent one. You're looking at a 3.6 liter V6 
that produces a pretty healthy 310 horsepower at 6,700 RPM and 270 pound-feet of torque at 4,900 RPM. With EPA estimates being 19 in the city and 26 on the highway for our front wheel drive model. Go for all wheel drive and it gets bumped down to 18 in the city and 25 on the highway. Eight speed automatic transmission is also your only transmission available for the XT5. And you'll find this same exact powertrain in the GMC Canyon, as well as the Chevrolet Colorado. But we'll see what this baby could do when we hit the road later in the video. Pricing of the XT5 starts at the base model, which starts at $39,395. Then you have the luxury, $45,295. Premium luxury, $52,295. And then the top of the line platinum, $62,895. There's also, of course, different packages that you can go for, and uh, you can select between front-wheel drive and all-wheel drive. Competitors of the XT5, you're looking at vehicles in the compact to mid-size luxury crossover class. While the XT5 is a mid-size luxury crossover, crossover, you can certainly consider compact luxury crossovers, such as the Audi Q5, Mercedes-Benz GLC, as well as the BMW X3. However, its main arch rival that it's really aiming towards is certainly the Lexus RX here. We also have the vertical LED taillights which is a signature design cue for the Cadillac brand with LED turn signal indicators, rear parking sensors, rear reflectors, and dual integrated exhaust tips. Pricing for our particular XT5, you're looking at $50,030. Final assembly point for the vehicle is in Spring Hill, Tennessee, and the overall vehicle score from the government five-star safety ratings, you're looking at a four out of five. All of your basic power necessities, power windows, power mirrors, and they also power fold, very convenient as well as your power door locks. The X-T5 is definitely a vehicle that delivers a competent and polished ride quality that barely leaves you feeling fatigued. The naturally aspirated 3.6 liter V6 does an incredible job at providing smooth and robust power that is moderate when it comes to fuel efficiency. The 8-speed automatic certainly needs improvement as it has shifts that can be pretty inconsistent. Nevertheless, the XT5's handling is relaxed but not buttoned down, being just right for the average consumer while never having any noticeable understeer or vague feeling. Essentially, this is a vehicle that appeals to the masses of driving characteristics. Interior quality, you'll find it to be on par with most of its competitors here, but they have done a little bit of cost cutting. There are some interior plastics that do feel a little cheap and chintzy. However, there are plenty of soft touch materials that do abound inside of here and the stitching on top of the dashboard certainly gives it a more premium vibe um, but right here hard touch plastic and then there's no belt lining near the bottle holders but that's just nitpicking but overall generally speaking it's a pretty well built interior and you'll find that many of the trims and pieces do feel pretty sturdy and they don't feel flimsy at all but overall not a bad interior in terms of its quality but it's not on par with some of its competitors coming to the steering wheel design here pretty good looking steering wheel from Cadillac it's a little button happy however on the left you do have your cruise control voice recognition and then also your Bluetooth phone controls uh, over here you also find your gap adjust for your colli for collision alert system as well as your lane keep assist and your heated steering wheel over here you also find your steering wheel mounted audio controls as well as your controls for the driver information center and the steering wheel also does power tilt and telescope and we do have your electronic parking brake over here as well as your instrumentation brightness we have dual zone automatic climate control with your adjustable fan speed levels and the toggle switches feel very high quality here as well as your temperatures and three-stage heated seats for the driver and the front passenger, which these are touch-sensitive buttons down here. And we do have your recycling mode, as well as your front window defroster and rear window defroster. And that little storage cubby, it can be used as a little cell phone holder, anything like that. 
and then you also have dual cup holders decent amount of center console storage two USB charging ports auxiliary input center console lid is, of course is nice and soft to the touch visibility out of the XT5 can certainly be improved on many areas such as the front windows here not a whole lot of glass area certainly can use a little bit more seeing how the windshield is pretty easy but when you get to rearward visibility it's a pretty big challenge back there um, there's a pretty big blind spot as well and they certainly need to make that rear window back there a lot bigger glove box compartment lined with felt the seats are also fairly comfortable in the XT5 pretty supportive too however I'm pretty disappointed that they got rid of the thigh extension but you will find plenty of support on the side bolsters and also they're fairly plush and you'll find it to be pretty comfortable for long road trips let's get to the infotainment system and main head unit this is the Cadillac Q system this is actually their last generation head unit and they've been using this head unit for quite some time now but you'll find that the newer head unit will be much faster in its response and the quality of the display is vastly improved but this is your home screen and we also this is also an 8 inch color touchscreen display and your different audio sources do include all of the norm including AM, FM, XM satellite radio, HD radio you also have a direct tune feature which is very convenient if you don't want to tune through all the different radio stations. Your external media devices do include your USB charging port with iPod integration, Bluetooth streaming audio, and your auxiliary input. Coming back to the home screen, we have your phone. You can hook up your Bluetooth phone, and you can also hook up multiple Bluetooth devices. You can also view your voicemail. You have an integrated dial pad, view your recent calls, and hook up your contacts. We also do have 4G LTE Wi-Fi on the system as well. And you have your projection feature for your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, but you won't find that on the newer generation of the Cadillac Q system. Instead, I'll just say Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. We have your navigation system, which will show your points of interest. You can enter in your destination by voice if you would like. And you can also go around the map by just doing your finger like this which is pretty cool and of course there's also buttons for zooming in and out the system also does feature haptic feedback whenever you click on something but you could turn it off if you would like we have your settings over here we have radio vehicle bluetooth apple carplay android auto ringtones your device management as well for your bluetooth settings and then the display rear camera, like if you can turn the guidance lines on or off if you would like. You can also adjust the brightness and the contrast of the screen. And you have your rear seat reminder and you can monitor the driving habits of your teenager if you would like through the teen driver feature. You have your climate settings if you don't want to adjust them down by the physical buttons down here. We do have uh, your different zones of course. And then your adjustable temperatures, all that good stuff. Then your weather will give you an hourly and a five-day forecast. You could change the location if you would like. And, you and then when your SMS text messaging function, OnStar, your live traffic, which will show you of uh, the traffic incidents in your nearby local area. And then your collection, which you can download apps onto the system. But overall, you'll find that the Cadillac Q infotainment system is intuitive, but Rather much prefer the newer generation head unit, of course, due to its faster response as well as its significantly improved display, the quality of the display. We also have your automatic dim room rear view mirror. You can also go for a streaming rear view mirror, which is optional on the top of the line platinum model. We have your OnStar with SOS Safety Connect, LED map lighting, sunglass container, garage home link, and your panoramic sunroof which certainly lets a lot of light into the cabin, makes it feel much more open and airy. I love how it comes with a power sliding shade instead of a manual one. Let's get to the gauges and the instrumentation here. Very traditional setup from Cadillac. However, you won't find a full-on digital cluster. You won't, it's not optional on the XC5, unfortunately. On the left, you'll find your tachometer, and on the right, you'll find your fuel gauge, coolant temperature, and in the center, speedometer. 
and you'll also find your driver information center which will display things such as your digital speedometer with roadside information your direction of travel you can also change your audio source from here you have your efficiency gauge and then your fuel economy gives you your instant fuel economy and your average there's other options that you could change like on the info pages you can change what things you want on or off on this little driver information display and then you have your units which you could change from metric to US and then you have your trip odometer fuel range average fuel economy all that good stuff and then you can also Set the following distance, you have your battery voltage, oil life percentage, tire pressure monitoring, all that good stuff. Fairly easy to use, but I rather much prefer Cadillac's digital cluster. More soft touch padding on the door panels when coming into the rear of the vehicle. And we also have a rear adjustable headrest. Now sitting back here in the XT5, there's ample amounts of space back here. You'll find 36, up to 36 inches of headroom, as well as 39.5 inches of legroom. And you'll also find dual map pockets, rear air vents. You can also opt for heated rear seats back here. And we have a rear center armrest with cup holders. The seats themselves are fairly plush and they do provide a pretty good amount of thigh support. But you will find the Lexus RX to be slightly roomier uh, when it comes to the passenger space. But there's still plenty of room here in the X-T5 and it's certainly above a compact luxury crossover when it comes to the passenger space. All right. And you also do have two USB charging ports back here for the children. Power lift gate. Of course, this could be activated from the remote key fob. And you have up to 63 cubic feet of cargo space with the seats folded down in the XC5. When you have the seats in place, you're looking at three, 33 cubic feet of cargo space. The rear seats also do fold down by pulling on these levers right here, or you can do it by these right here. And you also have your cargo cover as well. And a 12 volt power outlet back here. So with its cavernous interior, elegant and comfortable nature, and its very potent V6 engine, the 2018 Cadillac XT5 stands as a very compelling choice in the midsize luxury crossover class. So remember that this is Cameron Birch from Cameron's Car Reviews.